Welcome to Red VTV as we continue our build up to the 2023 season. And with nine days to go, I think about that one. It is the turn of a lad who goes by the name of James Roby. And James is proudly sponsored by Vinyl Line. Vinyl Line offering everything from bespoke vinyl decals, window graphics, wall art and exhibition displays to building wraps, floor graphics, site hoardings and illuminated signs. Their services also include shop fronts and school signs, sports signage and glass manifestations. All that you need to do is decide which time, type of sign is best for you and your requirements and make that call. Excellent. And they've been sponsors of James for years and years and years. And good on them. They picked a good one, didn't they? Well, I was going to say, I think that they must still be waiting for a return on their investments. <laughs> What's he done for our club? <laughs> What's this man done for our club? Anything? <laughs> Everything. Stole a living for 20 years. <laughs> Oh, tell you what, this is when we do these, we, we always like we have a chat before we start filming. And sometimes it's like, right, what are we going to say about these? And almost start a conversation before we, we get going. So we've we've got a little bit. I genuinely don't know what to say about James Roby that hasn't already been said. There is you could say everything about him, how good he's been. Everyone knows that. How professional he is, and everybody knows that. How he is one of the greatest players to put our jersey on. How he keeps himself in great shape, despite having played 20 years for Saints. It's all stuff we know. It's all stuff he carries himself so well. He speaks so well. He trains well. He plays well. And this is the last time we're going to be doing one of these for James Roby as a player. Are you 100% sure on that one? Yeah, I, I am. I am. I think this is it. I think it rounds it off nicely. 20 years, Saints' 150th year. Captain of the club. I think. I don't think he'll play as many games as he did last year. I think his, his game time will be managed and rightly so. But this is this is the perfect way to to finish. I always, yeah, I always suspected he would do this year because I think we've spoke about it for a couple of years now. Um, Kel Coslett's record in sight as yeah. record appearance maker for the club. Um. He had, to, he had to go around to beat that record, and you can't get that close and not go for it. Although, I would say, James seems the sort of bloke where he wouldn't want a record for the sake of having a record if he didn't think he was going to contribute. Yes, that's it. Um, I think we, we've heard the story a couple of times about how he was going to retire, and then he was having to think about it and rang a couple of people up, and, and they kind of obviously helped him make his mind up I think you're right. I think that he wouldn't just do it just for the sake of, oh, I can get another couple of appearances under my belt and always be spoken about because he will always be spoken about. He doesn't need that record for people to remember James Roby, does he? It's it's not something that he would... In the type of person that he comes across and the type of person that we kind of know he is, he's not all about that. He's not all about the the personal records and achievements, he's still very, very much the perfect captain in the way that he's all about the collective. Yeah, obviously he's made 520 appearances for Saints so far. Um, Kel Cosmos holds the current record of 531. So I'm just looking now, Kevin, to see when he would break the record. One, two, three, four... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If he was to play every game, he would break the record away at Catalan. 
Ooh. I I can I see being, it'll, it'll be later. In the season. Yeah. I think it'll be later in the season. And if Saints don't have him breaking the record at the Totally Wicked Stadium, <laughs> they're missing a trick on tickets. <laughs> yeah, but I, again, I don't think... Listen, it will be a thought in the, in the minds. It should be, because that, that has to be a game that sells the place out. End yeah. of. There's no excuse for nobody in this town. If they're going to attend one game this season at um, the Totally Wicked... It has got to be that one. There's no good Friday game. So to see it's listen, it's, it's a record that's gonna it's gonna last a lifetime for us. We we will never see anybody like it again. I don't I don't think it's I, I genuinely don't actually think it's gonna be possible for yeah. for this record to be broken, given the amount of games in a year now. Yeah. I know I agree with that. Uh I, I can't I can't see it being broken. Um but yeah, listen, I think it'll be in the back of the minds, but sport throws up weird and wonderful ways of doing things. Um, I think it'll be the aim, but listen, we all know how sport works. Um, so we'll see We'll see what happens. And I think they will aim for a, a good game at the, at the Totally Wicked to celebrate James and celebrate that. I think he'll be slightly embarrassed by it all. Because again, I don't think he's that, that type of person who'll be... I think he'll be... He'll be very, very proud and rightly so of his achievements. But I, I, I think he'll just be quite like, can we just get on with the game? I'll do my media stuff after as well, but can we just get on with the game? And I think that's that's what it'll be. Uh, that's all James will be looking for. Yeah. Um, interestingly, Kel Coslett made his 531 appearances in 14 years. Yeah. He must have been playing every other day. Well, that's it. More teams in the league back then. Um, as it say, they probably did play a couple of games where it might have been Wednesday, Sunday, um, rather than now where we've got less teams in the league. Trying to have a look a little bit more at play welfare. It's uh, yeah, that's it. It's, it's 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 just a it's a staggering achievement, and as you say, one that you'll never see the likes again. I don't think. And at 37 years of age, 38 at the end of the year, it's still fair to say that we're going to have a massive, massive hole next season, regardless of whether Joey Lussick, Taylor Pemberton or a another comes into the club. The shoes that you're not going to fill, you, whoever we get next isn't going to be James Roby. And he can't be compared to James Roby either. He's got to just be his own person. Um, there'll obviously be pressure, uh, as as is is natural. Uh, but yeah, and, and again, I don't necessarily think that's just on the field. I think it's off the field. I think it's them standards that he holds himself to, the standards that he sets, that the whole squad's going to have to take that step. And... Again, I don't want to keep talking about leadership groups like we have done for the past couple of days, but are going to have to try as best as he can to fill that void of not having James Roby being able to calm things down, perk things up when need be, and just be, as I say, an ultimate captain. Is it fair to say that we didn't expect or... James wouldn't have expected to play as many games as he did last season. Um, but because of his form and the, and the need, he played more often than not. Yeah, I thought he might have been managed a, a little bit more last season. But again, as you say, how do you leave out someone who is the, the best hooker at the club? Um, you play him. And because he is such a clever player, because his game has changed from just, and he wasn't just a pick up and scoop from doing that, but he's a lot cleverer about doing that now. He doesn't try and do it all the time because his his body wouldn't be able to do it. Because he's been able to adapt his game, and as you say, his form dictated that he needed to be in that team. Then, listen, there was no other option. It, it, maybe, maybe we could have 
taking him off 10, 20 minutes here and there a little bit more. But he was the best hooker at the club. And I don't think he would have expected to play that much. But when when your form dictates that, that you need to, because you're the one making us tick from dummy half, what do you do? You don't you don't drop someone who's in form. Now that was last year. This year, I think we have to manage his minutes more. Yeah, but yeah, without doubt. If we want to see James Roby at his best, I think we've got to got to drop him out of games. And some games, listen, yeah, not to, not take the hit, but you give the others a chance, and you give them the chance to do more and see what they're about. You've got to, because you've got to have that succession in place or a plan for succession in place. Um, but yeah, he'll need his game time managing literally from game one. Yeah. Although I think he'll do 80 against Penrith pretty much. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> um, right. Another one done and dusted. We're on the home straight now, Kev. Yep. I've had this top on for three days. I better go and change it. Yeah, I would. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we'll catch you tomorrow for another episode of Red V TV.